costume. Today is Tuesday, November 5th, um, election day here in the U.S. How are you today? It's pretty dreary. Um, I'm Helen D., by the way. <laughs> Thank you for clicking on and watching today. Um, it's pretty dreary today. It's supposed to rain. The colors are a little dim. Yet there's still light reflecting on my glasses, <laughs> like every time. Uh, how is everyone? I don't believe it's already November. I actually started some Christmas shopping this weekend, which will be here before you know it, and we're really busy. I would say the next month. We, I looked at the calendar the other day, and we have a lot going on. Nothing major. Well, we have a wedding that we have to travel for, but other than that, it's all kind of just appointments and rehearsals and <clears throat> extra stuff like that, but a lot of it. Um, we had a rainy Halloween, although it did stop. We went out like at six, and from like six to eight, it was actually really nice. It was warm. We had on just sweatshirts, and we were fine. There were puddles everywhere, and that was kind of a pain because it's dark, and you can't really see. I think I only stepped in one, and it was on the way back, so that wasn't too bad. Um, and then... My son was just getting ready for bed, and, like, it opened up. So we really, that little window, we hit that window, so that was nice, and we had a good time. Um, I think it's supposed to snow on Friday, our first snow, which won't be much. You know, it'll be a dusting, I'm sure, and then it will melt when the sun comes up. Most of the leaves are down. Between the Halloween storm and the storm we had the week before where we lost power, I mean, we had, they were windy. They weren't just rain, they were wind storms. So most of the leaves have come down. I know a lot of people were out this weekend cleaning up. We, my husband has done one round of mowing. Um, I told him right before that Halloween storm, the day before, we had a lot of leaves. And this year we decided we were just going to kind of mow and mulch instead of, you know, raking them up or whatever. We have woods out back. We just shove them back there. But we thought we'll just mow them in place. And I told him that. I'm like, mm, there's a lot of leaves. I don't know if the mower can handle that. <laughs> then after the storm, when I was outside, I'm like, oh, all the leaves are gone. I don't know where they went. I looked at the neighbors because I feel bad if they blow across the street. Nope, they weren't there either. So Mother Nature leaf blowed for us this year. That was nice of her. I have been busy. Um, I think it's because we're getting close to Christmas and I had a lot of things that I needed to get done. So I've been kind of trying to focus on getting a lot of those smaller things done. And a lot of what I'm stitching right now is small. So that tends to go faster. Um, I have some FFOs. I have one FO that I'm hoping to F FO later today. I have some new starts that are already FFOs that you haven't seen. Like I said, they're small. So I've got a big pile. And we'll just hop in. I'll start with the FFOs because then I can move them out of the way. So I did work on more of my little ornaments. Um, and I put up a tutorial for anyone interested. And thank you guys for all the, the kind words. Um, I was at AC Moore Sunday. My AC Moore is all out of the snowflakes. They had stars and trees and gingerbread men and other things, but they were out of the snowflakes. And a lot of people, a couple people commented that they might try doing yo-yos in the middle instead of the just scraps because then they'd fray less. I thought about doing yo-yos, honestly. I don't know how to make them. <laughs> I'm sure they're not difficult, but I thought if I'm making that many, that's not the time to figure it out. So I still have... They're all stitched. I bet I'm about halfway done actually putting them together, maybe a little more. So I need to finish up those. That might be today's job after I get my other one done. Um, let's see. I did also finish, I put together all of the Britter Kitty ornaments that I made. I did four and I finished them all the same. They're all pillow finishes. I went with a polka dot on the back and then because I decided, usually I put the year up here where I put this little bell, but this year I thought I'd mix it up. So I put the year, I use these little charms I just get on Amazon, and I 
tacked the year on the back. So all of those are done. I went with black and colored cording from Vonna's Tutorials so it matched the back. They kind of look like Hogwarts houses, but that's okay. Here's the Hufflepuff. <laughs> um, and then I have two red ones. So these are all done. Like I said in my last video, um, this, this one's in Just Cross Stitch, one of the Christmas ones. So is this one. This is from the November, December monthly Brooder Kitties. I just used the cat. And then the one in the snow is from the January, February. And I left the little hearts off the butts. So those are done. This one is my son's. He wanted blue. He picked out the blues that don't really match, but that's what he picked out. And then the others will be going to my sister's kids. And they're done. Cross that off the list. Then I finished, I had shown you um, Gobble Till You Wobble, which is by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And I think I had that one, I think I had it stitched last time. Well, now it's finished. Um, I just used some fabric that I had and made some cording. I, I used Vonna's tutorial for the, um, I think she showed it on the tag, the, the tag finish. I've had to stick the end down with a pin on the cording, um, so that's helpful. And then this is on one of those wood blocks. This one came from Joanne. Someone had asked if I had um, the, the UPC, and they're on there with a hang tag, so I had cut it off. But this one came from Joanne's, and it's on there with a sticker. So I do have it, um, and I'll stick it down below. And when I went in Joanne's last week, they also have the dark, the, the dark firm if that one's on. Um, they're $6.99, and you can use your coupons, so that's actually a better deal. And they have this, I just tied it in there. You can take this plastic bit off, but I left it so I could tie the hanger down, because you could hang it if you wanted to. And I thought I'd leave that on there to give myself the option. So that one is done. I did take Halloween down yesterday and I pulled out the turkeys. And then I'll do Christmas. I put Christmas up after Thanksgiving. Usually that weekend, we kind of, my son and I pull everything down and then he puts stuff up. And then the next week when he goes to school, I move it around. Don't tell. Uh, two more. So this one, I know I had started. I think I had just started it last time. This is Frost House by Little Stitch Girl, who's Jordan from Basic Stitches on Floss Tube. Um, it's, oh, that Gobble Till You Wobble was stitched on my Mystery Ada. I just had a scrap. It's gray. I had to change some of the colors because they didn't show up on the gray. This one is on the, the, the fabric I can never remember, which is Country French Cafe Mocha. It's a 16. It's super soft. Um, my son had a cold last week and I think it was Monday night. Neither one of us got any sleep. He ended up in with me. John was on the couch. We were up forever. Um, and in that two hours in the middle of the night, I was, th I was thinking about finishing this. And I remembered I had found this wooden snowflake, um, at Goodwill last year in their new stuff. You know how some of them have like new stuff. That's where this was. So that's what I use to finish Frost House. So there's kind of a close up, probably out of focus. Um, 59 knots. I decided this is the piece I'd master colonial knots on. And by the end, I didn't even have to look the tutorial anymore. So I guess that's nice, but 59 knots between the gate and the little snowman eyeballs. So this snowflake, like I said, was from Goodwill. It has a hanger. I left the bow. That's just what was on there. I may add a little stuff to it, or I may not. We'll see how I feel. For now, it's done. I just mounted it like I'm mounted, you know, on some sticky board. I think I used, I put a little batting on this one. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. When it's when it has a definitive border like this that I want to get straight, I usually put some batting on because that way you can kind of 
tweak it as you go if you need it moved around. So that one's all finished. And then the other piece I have fully finished is a new start. It's from this book. I meant to look before I hit record. Um, Kirshners.com had this book and two other of the Christmas books. These are by Craftways. They had them on sale for $5. This one, my sister and I, she gets them and we split it and all that. So this one we had. But I did pick up 2016 through 2017. There were, there were three. They were $5 a piece. Um, shipping was $5. So I picked up, I got two books for $15 shipped. Lynette, Homesteading on the Homefront, has done a flip through of them. And I think I saw that um, Christine, Stitch All the Things, also did a flip through. So they're out there if you want to see what's in it. So this is the one I did, but I modified it. So this is a doorstop, and that's, that's long, and there's no way I'm putting it on the floor in my house. So I thought if I tweaked it a little, it would fit on the board that I'm doing my Bent Creek Rows. There was, there was a space, like right here where the fold is on the chart, there's a big space between these little reindeer and Christmas. So I just shortened that to be the same, like, the same number of stitches over um, from every other word. And then I ended him after this one, after the sample. And he's on there. This is also that <laughs> country French cafe mocha. Um, I used, I think I used the called four colors and then I just grabbed some I mean, it wasn't very much. I know that's, uh, I think it's Garden Gate for the text. Santa might be a different color. It might just be what I had out. And on this one, and possibly on Frost House, I don't remember. I'm using that Sulky 12 weight, and this is how it looks on a 16 count. I think it looks great, and it's way easier to work with, um, with one strand. So... That one's done and ready. Those are all the FFOs. And then the only FO, which is also a new start, I believe, since the last two weeks, I caved and I bought this little guy from Frosted Pumpkin. And he's so cute. So it just says Happy Thanksgiving. I ended up using, um, it's all the called for. No, it's not all. It's almost all the called for. I used the DMC for the turkey because the, the variegation just was kind of, I thought, too much for my taste. And then I changed this color. It was this kind of a pinkier crust color, and I just used a darker harvest basket, maybe. I just pulled a tan. This is on Oaken, 16 count Oaken, which is the called for color. And the white shows up really good. Um, that's also a sulky. So that one is done. I'll be making a flat fold out of that one. And I have the mat board cut. None of my brown fabrics were the same. I had one that would have worked, but the fabric was a little busy in a way that if I didn't get it on there just right, you'd notice. And I know I'm not going to get it on there just right, and you'd notice. So that one I'll need to zip down. Joanne's is a dangerously close half a mile from me, so I'm in there a lot. <clears throat> so now on to whips. And I just grabbed the bags, so we'll pull them open together. I did start my October A Very Prairie Year style, the one I'm doing with Barbie and Misty, and I think Lynette's still going on it. Um, Shelly PX stitch. There's a bunch of people that, that are joined in. I'm doing this one. I didn't get very far because then I got moved on to other Thanksgiving things. But I have a little start. This is Country French Rain, Ada, which is the same color um, the new Snow Village by 
Country Cottage Needleworks. That's the call for. And that's the Sulky White. And again, this is a 16, but I think it covers pretty well. So this one, it started. I knew full well it wouldn't get finished right off. The only other one of these I have to do, which might be this, this month's start or next month, is summer. And then those will be done next year. Those will be done next year. So I worked on that a little. Uh, the next section of Death the Halls came out. on that a little. It says wrap presents. I got going on this, did the candy cane, realized I'd run out of that bright green, 703. That was yesterday's trip to Joanne's, which I made it out of there with one skein of DMC. That's pretty good. So that one I'll get caught up on this week. And then the last part comes out the usually in the evening of the 14th here because she's in the UK so maybe I can take it to Frugal Empire it might be out and ready and then I have one more bag this is also a new start this is going to take some time Christmas Cat by Satsuma Street she just released this I did the Halloween Cat a couple years ago and I love it and she had teased ages ago that she was working on a Christmas cat. So I was waiting and here he is. He's super cute. I'm Shelly Kiexich asked if I was going to change the cat. And my cats are tabbies and that seems like way too much work. So I probably will not. But I did realize when I looked at it, if you wanted to, you could leave this whole window off. And I think it would still look really nice. So I actually might stitch everything but the window and see how it looks. I didn't stitch it on red. I stitched it on Picture This Plus Mirage. And it's very impressive. Are you ready? That's what I have done. So that's his ear and starting on his hat and the tree. So it's a start. There's a lot of color changes. Um, but they're great, bright colors. I did a 16 count. On a 14 count or a 28, it would fit. It's 8 by 10. So I thought if it's on a 16, it should fit in an 8 by 10. And I have a really cool frame from Michaels that the Halloween cat's in that's, um, so it has an, it's a rectangular frame, but it has an oval opening. So I think that will tuck right in there. That's the plan. Again. But it started. That's everything I stitched. No, it's not. I also worked on Blackbird Designs Our Lasting Friendship. We had our stitching meetup last weekend, and eight of us in our group are stitching that as kind of a round robin. So we all did the middle section where the words are, and then people are doing different motifs around it. So I have pennies right now, so I've been working on pennies. Um, it's on, I think it's on linen. I don't even think it's even leave. I think it's linen, which is not my strong suit. So it's a little slow going, and I have to get the light. Like the time of day really makes a difference. <clears throat> so I'm plugging away. Actually, today would be a great day to work on it because it's overcast. I find that if it's too bright, I can't see them. So I'm working on that. Plans are just to keep going. I don't have any, oh, I need to finish the ornaments. And then I would like to start the um, Bent Creek Winter Row to take with me to Frugal Empire because I think I could not mess that one up. <laughs> Let's be honest. I think I could do it without messing it up. All right. Haul. I do have quite a bit of haul. Uh, things happen to come in at the same time. I got the second order from the Picture This Plus Fat Ape sale. My cat found a bag, so if you hear her. I got a piece of Phoenix 16 Mint, that's a 14. And then this one 
had been dying to try, so I was so happy it was there. This is a 14 cauldron. I almost ordered a piece of this to stitch tingles on. Tingles would look great on this fabric. It's dark enough that the lighter colors would pop. So this is a definite Halloween fabric and it's awesome. So I got those three. When the group was at my house for our meetup, um, Penny runs the dailystitcher.com and she brings all her stuff down. She's our crafty Avon lady. I got a couple things from her. I got a piece of picture this plus ale, a 16. I thought it was a little darker. I might do a Christmas one on this because the light will show. She had in Mary. I don't, I don't think I'm going to do this one, but I love this one. And she had Cranberry Christmas um, with the salty. So it's called for these colors, and I wanted definitely this one is their version of an off-white. And it is more of an ecru. Like, I thought maybe I could sub it for 3865, but it's definitely a little tanner than that. So I'll work on those. And I also got some flosses. Um... Now she's chasing her tail. There was a couple colors I needed that Penny was out of because you know how some of the dyers are having problems, you know, filling certain colors, and there was just a couple she was out of. So I popped onto Cobweb Corner, and she still had them in stock. Um, and she has the 10-yard skeins of Gentle Art. So that pumpkin pie is a 10-yard skein. That'll last a long time. And I wasn't just going to get floss. So this is a little Erica Michaels. It's so tiny. I mean, that will take me like an evening. So it's so cute. And I picked up Summer Delivery, which I love. I love the colors in this one. Just thought that might look good on that ale, but it might, might not be the right shade. So I got those from Carla at Cobweb Corner. And then I got a couple things from Stash on Move this week. Someone had posted... And they have this. And I love these. I love finding these little kits on Stash and Load. I'd be happy with just the chart. This one happened to be the whole thing. I won't use that fabric. Um, it's pearl cotton. I won't use that either. But I, and that's why I don't want to buy them flat out. I'm not going to use that stuff. Um, but I love that little chart. And then she also had this one, which I'm not going to make a stocking with but I thought he would be cute just on his own. That's that. That is, that's everything that's come in. I'm trying to think of what else I have to tell you. We do have the giveaway to do. Um, these were provided by Carla at cobwebcorner.com. She is doing the Bewitching Pixies Sal, which is starting on December 1st. Um, it's, you can stitch any of the Bewitching Pixies, which are the Halloween Pixies by Nora Corbett. I will be doing Raven. I ordered, I'm still picking fabric. I didn't order fabric. I'm still picking fabric. I pull all the colors to try and decide what it would look good on. It might look good on that. It's a little bluey. It might not look good on that. And that's a 14, and I'd rather do it on a 16 so the beads are the right size. So we'll see. <laughs> I've got a, I've got a three weeks. I'm planning on starting that one in December. It will not be priority, but I'll have it started, and then I can kind of work on it toward next Halloween. So she sent two for you guys. Uh, Emmy. My Emmy is in her basket. And Gigi. So I did random number generator. Gigi is going to Kathy, and I'm going to butcher her last name, Kathy Grelich, G-R-E-U-L-I-C-H. So this one goes to Kathy, and then Emmy goes to Sherry Levesque. That's a good French name. I can say that one. My maiden name is a good French name, so trust me, everyone butchered it. <laughs> um, so I will comment on your comments so that you can let me know where to send those off to. And 
hopefully you'll have, and you should, if I get them in this week, you'll have them in time. If you want to start with us on December 1st, uh, Cobble Corner has a Facebook group set up for the Sal so that everyone can see. She's kind of hoping that there's 12 pixies that everyone, every one of the pixies is represented. You know, that someone is doing every one of the pixies. So if you guys start in and I start in, there's three. Nine more to go. <laughs> um, I think that's it. We're just under a half an hour, which is good. That means this week I won't have to do any editing. Uh, what else? I looked to see if I had been watching anyone new on FlossTube, but I'm really just trying to keep up keeping up with the regulars. So I hadn't watched anyone that I don't think I've mentioned to you guys. Uh, I have a couple more starts that I'd like to do. And then I'm thinking, and I think I've mentioned this, after Christmas through January and into February, I don't really want to start anything new. I want to try and finish up some whips. So I'll talk, that's my, that's my 2020 plans. <laughs> And I'll talk more about that later. Um, yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. Um, I really appreciate you guys tuning in every time and leaving comments. And it's fun to get to talk to people. So thank you for that. I hope you all are having a good November. And it's not too snowy where you are or too hot if you're on the other side of the world. And I will talk to you in a couple weeks. Bye.